The opposition NDC says it stands firmly behind its member of parliament, Samuel Okujetu Ablakwa, was facing contempt charges in court. Party supporters and a team of traditional authorities on Tuesday morning pitched camp at the law court complex where the case filed by Reverend Kusi Boating was heard for the first time. Court correspondent Joseph Akable reports. The secretary to the National Cathedral Board of Trustees, Reverend Kusi Boati, said the MP should be punished for contempt. The MP's constituents, however, disagree. Alleged that our boss, our MP, the leader of North Town, which is the MP, is in the court. So the, the citizens felt that they are supposed to be here to support him. Whatever is going to happen, and they are here to support him. I mean, but so far, do you have an understanding of what exactly the issues are here? I mean, because to come to the conclusion that you need to come here and support me, you must have some appreciation of uh, what is going on. Alleged one, Kwesi Bati made an allegations of two identity. That's what we know so far. So we are here to find out what is allegation that she's making, whether it's true or not. But we are here as a citizen because we know the MP, what is, and the MP is capable to do. Don't criticize me about what I'm doing, but try also to do something so that you also can get a name, a proper name. So if maybe simply means that what Okuteto is doing, that's the name is all over. That we all know that everywhere you reach Wadi Bebea, the name is all over. That you want to destroy his name, you want to destroy his image. That's the meaning of the, the song. When you pay attention to the things happening, it is important that the likes of Honorable Samuel Okujeto Ablakwa must be celebrated, celebrated for exposing the lies and the rotten system that we are in. Look at the case before the court, very trivial, such that a man of God or a supposed man of God who on different occasions has used different names, different dates of birth, and different personal data or bio data, such a person will be the one seeking to gag a member of parliament from doing his work, that in 2016 he has a different voter's ID card with different date of birth. 2020, different age, different date of birth. On numerous occasions, his family has celebrated him for different dates of birth. This is the kind of system that we are in. It's important for us to expose it. The case was heard for the first time on Tuesday. The court asked that a member of parliament be served properly with the processes, even though he was present in court. The case was therefore adjourned indefinitely. Key party figures, including General Secretary Fifi Kwete, Deputy Minority Leader Imano Amakofibua, say the MP will not be gagged. as a party uh, from the national to the region to get to a uh, to, uh, north town is fully behind our comrade our brother uh, honorable samuel okujeto ablakwa uh, to say that the party is not deterred at all uh, that uh, there's nothing that uh, the forces that are against the truth can do to uh, discourage him or to make him feel that what he's doing is not the right cause. Uh, we believe the cause he's fighting is the cause of truth, the cause of transparency, and there's nothing that can be done to discourage him. And the party stands fully, 100% behind him. And that's why we are here to show exactly that. Our distinguished honorable member of parliament, Okuja Tua Blakwa, who has dedicated his life in fighting for the right things done for the country, in fighting for corruption, in ensuring that our constitution is upheld. You should have seen Mr. Adu Jemfi in court, but instead, you know who was in court? The man who was fighting for the right thing for Ghana, Okuja Tua Blakwa. And that is why you are all here. That is why you see all the crowd here. The people of Ghana are committed and support all the right things he's fighting for. The minority in parliament stands strongly behind him. And we want to make it clear Today we went to court, it was obvious 
that the people who took us to court are run away from their own uh, application. And this is really victory for the people of Ghana. What it is is that we are very clear in our mind. We are going to stand by Okuja too and fight for the right thing for the people of Ghana. Sort of mood, they are pouring the powder on him. You can see him there, they are pouring the powder on him and cheering him on. A number of them, earlier when we spoke to them, they said they had simply come to support him. A number of them cheering him on.